All right guys, welcome to another video. So today's video, I'm gonna be talking about whole house UV water filtration systems. So if you're watching this video, you may be considering purchasing a whole house UV water filtration system. And whether you pay to have a professional install it or you do it yourself, there's a few things that I want you to know that I learned in my research when I was considering buying a UV water filtration system for my house. So in my case, my UV filtration system is part of a much larger system that I did a video on on how I put it together. So first thing to know about a UV filtration system is it should always be the last component in your water filtration system before it enters the home's plumbing. So as you can see, in my case, the first step is a pre-filter. Then we have a whole house water filtration system, a water descaler, a post filter, before we finally come into our UV water filter. Only clean and filtered water should be put through the UV sanitizer. And the reason is, if you put any one of these components after the UV filter, there's a chance that some sort of bacteria or mold could grow in one of those systems and then it would have no effect from the UV. There's a lot of other videos on YouTube that have poor information in them and are steering people the wrong way. In fact, I'm not going to call anyone out, but there's even a guy who wears a white coat to try to look like some type of scientist or doctor, and he does an incorrect installation of a UV system. So here's a few important things to note. The piping type that you use in your system is very important. So in my case, you can see that I am using PEX piping with expansion fittings. And the reason expansion fittings are nice is because they maintain the diameter of your pipe throughout the system versus a crimp fitting where the fitting fits inside of the pipe and then you lose a little bit of diameter. The main thing to note though is that when you're connecting your piping to the UV water filter, any type of plastic pipe is susceptible to UV damage. So do a quick internet search for yourself type in UV exposure to PEX piping. PEX pipe cannot be used outdoors due to UV exposure. What do you think is going to happen if you connect it to a UV light bulb that is blasting a large amount, I mean, even more than the sun, of UV 24 seven? You see these pictures on the internet and people's videos, they think it's cool because their pipes are glowing on both sides. The plastic pipes are glowing. Yeah, that's UV light. It is destroying your pipes from the inside out. People who use PVC have even reported smelling a burnt smell in their water supply. That's your pipes burning from the inside out. So what's going to happen is over time, if you have PEX coming off of here, it's going to de degrade and it loses its uh, ability to resist chemicals like chlorine and other, and other contaminants. And it's gonna break down, it's gonna get brittle and it's gonna break and it's gonna explode and you're gonna have a water leak. If you're lucky, it's just gonna start as a drip and you'll catch it. So that's why if you look, actually read the instructions on most of these manufacturers, they say you need to have metal for minimum six, 12, 18 inches minimum six inches off any side of the system where UV light is. So I have kind of have this set up to show you both options that we have. So you need to go old school, which works really good. Use copper piping like I've done on this side. And in a UV light system where you have the water coming in the bottom or the top and going out the opposite way, UV light is usually exposed on both sides. In a vertical system like this, where, where the water comes in on this side, there's actually a stainless steel uh, piece that runs all the way through, and there actually is no, v, no UV light exposure on the side. So even though I use stainless to illustrate this, 
you could actually plumb PEX right up into this side of it, but that just depends on the type of UV system you install. This is the side where the bulb is. That's why we have copper right here. Uh, also, these can heat up when water is not being used. Again, that's not really a consideration because PEX pipe could handle that. So PVC, CPVC even, PEX, all of these types of plumbing are susceptible to UV damage. So this is a big thing and a big error that I see in almost every video on YouTube and every post that I find on the internet, people are using their plastic pipe to connect to their UV filter. So if you're gonna do this yourself, that's the first thing to not do. So what all can a UV filter do for you? Well, it kills mold, bacteria, and viruses. So any kind of contaminants that could possibly be in your water, it destroys them at a molecular level. So there's been people who have reported being sick from drinking their own water, installing a UV system, and all their symptoms go away. So definitely a lot of uh, benefits. You know, feel free to do your research on that. So with these UV systems, they come in various price ranges. I have a little bit cheaper of a brand installed here. So time will tell how well it will work. I think the biggest consideration, they're basically very simple. You have a stainless steel container here. There's a quartz sleeve that runs inside of it, which is glass. And then you have a bulb that basically, it's really simple. This is just like a fluorescent bulb here that runs down on the inside of it. Okay. So bulb quality, I'd say is the biggest issue. So even if you buy a cheaper brand, if you don't get a ton of life out of the bulb, maybe you could buy a better bulb that fits the system. Right. They all have a ballast. In my case, it just has a green light. That's how you know it's working. If the light turns red, the bulb is out for some reason. Another feature on some of the higher end systems is the ability to turn the bulb off when not in use. So for example, in, in my system here, that light is always on. So right now, no one is using water in the house. So you have the water that's in here just sitting there getting exposed to UV light and the light is on. So obviously, as soon as you turn on a faucet, all that water moves. We have water moving through here, getting treated. But there's no reason to have that light staying on when water isn't used. It will not hurt anything but some of the higher price systems have a flow switch that will shut the bulb off once water has stopped flowing and then turn it back on when water is flowing again. And all that really does is extend the life of the light bulb. It extends the life of your UV light. Also, it prevents the water from heating up. According to the manufacturer, this water can get up over 100 degrees if it just sits here long enough in here. I mean, as you know, it's put off heat. Um, but so far, I have not experienced, I mean, it's not even warm right now. It's been sitting for hours. So I haven't really experienced that. But that is a consideration of something that happened. So you turn on your cold water and you get this real quick slug of warm water, we'll say. I wouldn't ever say it would be enough to burn you. But depending on the system, I suppose, you know, that's something to think about. Okay, so now that we've talked about the various types, the last thing to consider is just the actual installation and whether you feel you can do it or not. So in this case, the system was all kind of designed together. But if you had a traditional well water treatment system and you already had some filters, you'd probably just have your water coming in to your filters and it would go back out to your bypass loop. So really it's just as simple as, you know, cutting in the UV filter into your plumbing system. So depending on what type of system you have, if you have copper, you know, obviously if you don't have the skills to solder, uh, you know, the pipes, you could use something like a shark bite, not the best uh, thing to use in my opinion, just cause they're expensive. I have never had one fail 
they really actually work really well if they're installed correctly and any failure I've ever seen has been due to the fact that they were installed incorrectly. I've never actually seen one fail, but that is an option. So like a push connect type system, you know, where you could adapt, you know, whether you had CPVC lines or copper lines or PEX lines, shark bites are kind of nice because they allow you to kind of connect everything like that. But it's probably better, you know, to go with something a little more, you know, proven and uh, I'll definitely a lot cheaper if you if you have the ability like an expansion fitting system like this. The problem with an expansion fitting system is there's a lot of initial cost to buy the tools required to expand the pipe. So you can get a manual expander for $100 or less. If you want an electric expander, they're upwards of $400. So just something to consider. That's why a lot of people choose to go the push connect fitting route because it's something you can buy relatively inexpensive. And for the homeowner DIY who wants to do it the best that they can without spending a fortune and doesn't have the, the tools you know, that a plumber would have. All right, so when I put this system together, it was actually very easy. I had three quarter standard pipe thread fittings on both sides. Um, there's a quartz sleeve. They give you a couple extras and, a, and an extra bulb. When you're putting the system together, you basically slide that quartz tube down through the stainless thing. There's a couple of gaskets. One goes in the bottom and then you put this cap on. One goes in the top. You put the top cap on. Then we slide our bulb down in with the wiring connected. Obviously we used thread tape on our female or on our male threads and then we screwed on our female connectors. That's really all there is to it. It's actually a very, very easy installation. If you have any kind of, you know, plumbing knowledge at all or you've ever fixed it, anything in your house, it's actually a very easy installation. The real considerations is what system you want. And like I said, make sure you use either your stainless corrugated type, uh, you know, on both sides. If you have, you know, wherever there's UV exposure or use copper. All right, so just wanted to make this quick video, throw some information out there for those of you looking to install or have a UV system installed in your home. Even professionals mess this stuff up sometimes. So it's important for you to do your homework Make sure you're getting a good system that's going to last for many years. Uh, if you'd like to buy the system that I've got right here, you can look down in the description. There'll be a link to it, and I'll leave some links to some other systems for you to check out as well. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the comments section. Subscribe for more videos, and if the video helped you out, be sure to like it because that helps me out. So until next time, we'll see you later.